Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be the update and the final update to my spring project use it up so i know we are in the second week here of may and so i'm going to work on these products from now until the end of may i will do an update the first week of june for the finale of this one and then we'll do the introduction to the summer project so this is still all the spring stuff i have a few things that i'm planning on bringing in for summer but i'm not quite there yet so yeah, this is the last update of the spring project and let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with what I finished in the last month. So I did actually finish off my Warm and Cozy from Pink little mini spray. And the sentence on this are soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. And then here is my progress lines. So I finished up in one, two, three, four, five months. I basically bought this at Winter SAS and finished it up six months. Is it six? No, five months into the year. So yeah, I did really enjoy this um, scent. I've repurchased this time and time again. I think next time though, I will get a full size, but it is just so yummy. Actually, no, I'm gonna get a travel size because I brought this pretty much everywhere that I needed to travel to in the last five months. I've brought this little bottle and it's been perfect. So yeah, I think I will just purchase the mini again, probably at summer SAS for pink. And then I did finish off this Love Cotton Candy Champagne little hand cream. Such a good scent. It's It was just like a beautiful cotton candy berry scent. Really, really yummy. Great for spring. I totally enjoyed that. I'm pretty proud of this one. I finished off a full-size Christmas cookies body cream. Um, it was getting kind of hard to use this near the end because it's so gourmand and like sticky, ooey gooey caramel. Um, and now it's getting hot here in Houston. It's like 90s, 80s, 90s here every day now. And it was getting really hard to use it, but I finished it up and thank goodness I did because it's from 2020 and it was starting to get, you can see from the inside, neon yellow. So very happy that I finished this off when I did. It took me one, sorry, uh, one, two, and then three months to finish this off. And it already had a little bit of use on it, but glad I finished it because it was really about to go bad. And I just need to be mindful about body creams because mine really only lasts one year and this was going on like a year and a half. So definitely need to be finished up. And the last thing that I finished since the last update is the Whip Vanilla Chiffon Body Lotion. Totally love this scent. It took me one, two, three, four months, really like three and a half months to finish off. Such a good scent. The notes on this are wild vanilla bean, spun sugar, and white peach blossom. It is such a beautiful, like sophisticated vanilla. It's like slightly updated from just like a regular warm vanilla sugar. It's very beautiful. I would definitely buy it again in the full size lotion probably in the full size shower gel too if they came out with it at SAS I would definitely consider getting it it was so good for the time of year that I used it and I really enjoyed it so loved that one okay let's get into some stuff that I have progress on because I do still have that one in the mist so I'll update you guys on some mists so I have whipped vanilla chiffon in the mist my goal for this one was to get it down to the top of the packaging and I did accomplish that last month and then I only used it a tad bit more um, going over this past month. Um, so now my new goal is going to be right in the middle of the packaging. So to use up four of the eight ounces that's in this and that way next spring I can work on finishing the rest of it. So that's my goal now um, from now until the end of the month is to finish it halfway which is really not that far but that's my goal for this one. And then I also have a goal for champagne toast and I hit it this month. My goal was to hit the top of the packaging again on this one this month and I definitely did it. So here's my progress from this month to last month. So quite a big dent and again my goal for this one is also to get it halfway so I'm gonna have to really concentrate on this but I think now that I'm not working on warm and cozy I will be able to do those two combined. So really working on getting these two down to the middle of their packaging and that way I can say that I'm halfway done with those which is a really big accomplishment for me. It takes me so long to use up fragrance mist. The other one that I don't have a lot of progress on is the Twinkling Nights Fragrance Mist. This one is so strong and very fragrant and I can really only spray a certain amount, but I spray this like when I go out for nights on the town. So the notes are Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whip Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. So it's a very occasion specific one, but I do still want to keep it in just to see how much progress I can use out of it. 
but it's seeming steady at about like a little like a centimeter of use every time I use it so this one will be in my collection for a long time but I'm still going to keep it in and keep working on it but primarily on those other two okay let's touch on some perfume because I am working on this Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume rollerball from 2013 um, I did make a little bit more progress than the last update on this one, so it is about less than halfway used, and I'm just going to continue to finish this up. It's a great scent. It's very nostalgic for me since I've had it for so long, but it's a little like fruity floral kind of, I would say, but I'm really ready to move on to a different scent, so I am going to add in a little mini perfume for this month, and that is a vanilla bourbon number nine from the mix bar i got like a little bitty set of these from ross and or no tj maxx and i just really have been loving this scent i think this one's also going to be like a night out on the town scent mixed with uh twinkling nights so this one's going to be really yummy just for when i want to change it up from this mary Kay one because i'm using this like every day when I want to change, I'll go to this one, but working on these two. And then I do have still these two hand creams in the project. This one is Pink Pineapple Sunrise, which is literally almost empty. And then we have Strawberry Pound Cake, which I've only gotten a little bit of use out of. I think once I finish these two, I'm definitely going to need some more hand creams. Hopefully that'll be around SAS time. Hopefully that'll be June and I can just wait until then. So planning on finishing these both up before SAS. Okay, next let's go over my last body lotion that lasted in the project, which is Merry Christmas Raspberry Sugar. As you can see, I've had it upside down because I literally have one use left. So we're so close. This one's definitely going to be finished probably tonight after I shower. So that one's in there. And then I am adding in two new moisturizers since I finished off two last month. The first being Confetti Cake Pop, which I'm very excited about. I did pick this up. I think at winter SAS last year, 2021, the notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, and vanilla bean. So they just repackaged this and brought it out for 4th of July as like confetti cake sprinkles. And everybody says it's the same thing. It's an exact dupe. So I have not used it yet. So I definitely plan on using it, seeing if I love it, and then picking it up in that uh, 4th of July packaging in some other forms, like maybe the shower gel and the spray or something. But it is such a yummy scent. So I cannot wait to use it and smell like a cake pop. I'm really excited about this one. And then the other one I'm adding in is a raspberry jam donut in the body cream. I do actually have the shower gel right here to update you guys on, but this body cream is unused. Very excited to start using it because also this one is nearing a year old. This one is from last spring, so 2021 spring. So it is going on a year old. I definitely need to finish it, but it is such a yummy scent and I cannot wait to start using the body cream. So the shower gel and raspberry jam donut I've had in the project for only a month. I put it in unused last month and I made this much progress. So as you can tell, I love it. It's really yummy. The notes are right, wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar and warm fluffy donut. Honestly, it is such a good scent in the shower. I don't get too much donut in the shower. I just get like that super jam, candy-y, sugary filling note really yummy. I can definitely have it finished in the next month. So very much looking forward to that. And the other shower gel that I have in the project is also almost done, which is strawberry pound cake in the moisturizing body wash. So here's my progress on that one. It started out about halfway, this in a month, this in a month, and then all the way down to here in a month. I honestly have like two more uses out of it. So I'm going to try and finish it up in the next couple of days. It's pretty much almost done, which I'm really excited about. I have found that I do like this moisturizing body wash as like an option if I'm not feeling just like regular shower gel. I've been really liking having this option in the shower, so I think I'm going to pick it up in some format, uh, some scent. I don't know what scent yet, but I'm going to pick up a moisturizing body wash at SAS in some scent and really enjoy it because... This has been really nice. Okay, last I have body scrubs. Gonna update you on this one. This is Onyx Bathhouse Dimbunzdo Foaming Body Scrub. This one's super harsh. Um, so I don't use this but like once or twice a week. And here's my progress. I think last time I was up to here, I believe. And now I've hit down to this like tan scrub color. So there was white on top and then tan on the bottom. So I've hit the tan. So I'm gonna continue to use this up and it really does smell good. It's a great foaming, harsh scrub. So if you guys are looking for one, totally recommend Onyx. I got mine from TJ Maxx. Um, and I am gonna add in another new 
Body Scrub. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. Really excited to use this one. I miss having a Dove um, Body Scrub. I used to have the Almond one, which is super gentle. And this one as well is gonna be a little more gentle than that uh, Onyx Bathhouse one. But it smells so yummy. And the papaya, or sorry, the mango just smells really delicious. I actually had mango for a snack today. This is really reminding me of mango. It smells so yummy. So I'm very excited to start using this one as a gentle kind of everyday exfoliant and to get some progress on it. So yeah, it is unused, no use on it. Okay, that is everything for the update to my project Use It Up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know down below. Also, let me know, have you started your summer scents yet? I'm really waiting until June to start, but I just, I'm, I'm itching to start on like coconutty, mango-y. I just got some Sol de Janeiro products that I can't wait to bring out, but I want to finish up this stuff before I do that because like I said, I have some things that are just like so close to being done that I just need to focus on them and they'll be gone. So holding out for summer products, we're almost there, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.